Okay, we are at chapter six, circular motion and other applications of Newton's laws. Uh, so uh, let's share the uh, PowerPoint and we'll get started. Okay, uh, we're gonna start off with circular motion. This is a, a image of Disney and it talks about if you uh, make your iPhone a pendulum, um, it, as you spin around, it's gonna make an angle outward and what is the force that causes that outward angle um and it, it it almost appears that there's a force pushing out people call it the centrifugal force and it's really a a uh, uh it's a fictitious force there is no centripetal force it's, it uh what causes it to go outward is uh it, by newton's uh first law an object at rest wants to stay at rest, an object in motion tends to stay in straight line motion unless acted upon by an internal, an external force. So the, the phone, if it's spinning around, it wants to go straight, uh, but the tension in the string or whatever you're using to hold up your iPhone is pulling it in. So if, if that string were to break, the phone would go in straight line motion. Uh, think of the drum of a, of a, uh, washing machine is that you go into the spin cycle uh, as you go into the spin cycle the the wall of the washing machine contains the clothes but if you were to have a, a, a overhead image you would see the water spraying out in in straight lines tangential to the spinning of the drum um, so it's the wall of the uh, the, the washing machine drum that is supplying the centripetal force to the clothing and the water is free to uh, flow outward. So we're going to talk about uh, that a little bit more. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, so a force FR uh, directed toward the center of the circle keeps the puck moving in its circular path. So if you're spinning a, a puck, the tension in the string is what supplies the force that keeps it uh, moving in a circular uh, path. So we've already learned that the centripetal acceleration is the uh, is v squared r. Well, we know uh, from uh, Newton's second law that the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. Well, in this case, the mass times the centripetal acceleration is equal to the mass times v squared r. If the centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared r, then uh, ma is equal to m times v squared r. Um, that is the 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 centripetal force, the center seeking force, and the center seeking force comes from the tension on the string, or it comes from the wall of the drum that I was uh, the the washing machine drum that I was speaking of uh, previously. Um, okay, if the string were to break the puck would move in the direction tangent to the circle. In other words, it's moving from Newton's first law, a, a uh, object in motion tends to stay in straight line motion unless acted upon by a external force. Well, the external force here is the string. If the string breaks, it's gonna go in straight line motion. That's why it's, where it, the string is broken, you see a, a uh, a uh, straight line velocity uh, and the puck would go in a straight line tangential to the circle just where uh, tangent tangential just uh, tangent right where the the string broke okay uh, now you are riding on a ferris wheel that is rotating um, with constant speed the car in which you are riding always maintains its correct upright orientation. It does not invert. Uh, what is the direction of the normal force uh, on you from the seat? What is the direction of the normal force on you from the seat when you are at the top of the wheel? Uh, is it upward? What is the direction of the normal force? You're sitting on the seat. The normal force is upward. Oops. Let's. Uh, the normal force is upward. Um, okay, let's look at the next question. 
you're riding on a Ferris wheel that is rotating with a constant speed. The car in which you are riding always maintains its correct upward orientation. It does not invert. What is the direction of the net force on you when you are at the top of the wheel? Um, well, if you know you have the normal force down and you have your gravitational force uh, down, um, so the the net force um, is downward. Okay. Um, so let's look at the let's look at this once again. Um, the force equals the mass times ex, uh, centripetal acceleration. The uh, mass times v squared r. We're going to have there's lots of applications of this. Uh, the tension in the string of a constant length acting on a rock uh, twirling in a circle. Uh, the gravitational force acting on a planet traveling around the sun in a perfectly circular orbit. Uh, we'll learn later that the orbits are actually elliptical, but there, there could be a, uh, um, you know, there, it's what keeps satellites in in orbit around the Earth is the gravitational pull of the Earth on the uh, satellite. It's what keeps the um, moon in place. Uh, we're being pulled by the sun. Uh, the gravitational pull of the sun is what is uh, uh, can pretty much be modeled as a centripetal acceleration. Um, it, it gets a little bit more complicated that when it's uh, uh, when it's a, an elliptical orbit. So that ends section 6.1. We're going to go on to section 6.2 uh, in the next lecture.